Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great back row bargain value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, today we're looking at a 1999 Fleetwood Prowler 26-foot travel trailer. Folks, this was a local trade-in. Uh, just a reminder, anything sold on our back row bargain lot is sold as is, where is, and the price is firm. Uh, that being said, folks, what we used to do with RVs like this, we'd just send them to the auction, but we, we figured, hey, there's a lot of people out there who who don't mind doing a little work on a camper and who are looking to save some money on an RV, so we opened up this back row bargain lot to help people like that out. So if you're, uh, if you're, hey, if you know your way around a toolbox and can fix one up, you can save a lot of money buying one like this and buying one ready to go. Uh, folks, I do not know what works on this camper and what doesn't. This was a trade-in. Um, needs some work, and I'll go over. I'm gonna show you everything, the good and bad that I can. Um, as you can see, it needs a real good cleanup on the outside. It weighs 3,800 pounds, so this is an easy tow for most half-ton trucks. Tires look to be in fair condition. You know, if you're just gonna do local camping or something like that, they're fine. You know, if you were going to take this thing, uh, if you were going to fix it up, take it to California, I'd probably put new tires on it. But if you're just looking for something to take up to the lake for the weekend or whatever, then this is fine for that. Uh, it's got the DSI water heater. Uh, it does have a spare tire. It looks almost brand new. It's got the patio awning. Now, it does need an awning canvas. Uh, those are about $200, $250, depending on the size. Or you can just take the awning off. A lot of people don't even mess with awnings anymore. Um, let's take a look inside this 1999 Prowler. Uh, this was a Franklin, Tennessee trade-in. Franklin County, Tennessee. Let's take a look inside. Now, folks, this thing has had some floor issues. It looks like the floor has been fixed. But they did not cover it back up with linoleum or carpet. Uh, it looks like they started to with this uh, uh, fake hardwood floor, but they didn't finish it. So, you know, you can always just throw a, get a piece of linoleum put in here, a uh, piece of carpet, whatever. It needs it right here as you come in the door, and it also needs it in the bedroom. But the floor feels solid. It looks like they, they fixed it, but it just needs the floor covering put back on it. Uh, you got a front clean bed, plenty of windows. Uh, the ceiling looks great. I don't see any signs of leak damage in the roof or the walls. Like I said, it just needs a little piece of linoleum put up in the bedroom and right here. Something that could be done in the, easily in two or three hours. It's got the ducted roof air. It's got the ducted DSI furnace. Double stainless sink, microwave, you've got the uh, LP stove top and oven. They have took the original RV fridge out and they have put a Magic Chef electric fridge in, which, and they trimmed it in, it looks real nice, so I wouldn't even worry about that. Uh, the table booth makes a bed. You've got two bunks in the rear corner, so this RV does sleep eight. Big wardrobe closet across from the bunks. And in here in the back, you've got a rear bathroom, and everything's solid back here, folks. Like I said, that's the only thing I see on the inside is just right when you come in the door where the floor covering needs to put back in. Uh, you got a large tub and shower, so this is great for kids. RV toilet, medicine cabinet, vanity, bathroom sink. It's got a vent fan. Uh... Like I said, folks, sleeps eight. It weighs under 4,000 pounds, so you can tow this with just about anything. And now, folks, like I said, this is $29.95. That's exactly what I have in this RV. I'm not making any money on it, so that's why the prices are firm. Uh, it just saves us the trouble having to carry it to the auction, run it through the auction, things like that. So if you can, you know, you, if you can do a couple of days' worth of work and clean up on this RV, uh, you can do it. Be honest with you folks, this camper bring forty nine, fifty nine hundred dollars fixed up. So uh, you could spend three or four hundred dollars and a couple of days work on this RV and you can turn around and flip it if you want to and make money. I have a lot of people that buy my trade ins that just buy them to resale. So uh this is a good one to do that with and I don't think this one's gonna make it to the weekend. 
twenty nine ninety five cash or trade. Um, if you're interested in this trade in this back row bargain, call us at seven zero six nine six five seven nine two nine. Or four two three six zero five six seven four seven. You can visit our website, ParkwayRVCenter.net. We've got over a hundred quality used RVs, folks. We sell about twenty RVs a week, and about uh, out of those twenty that we sell on average, about half of those have trade-ins. And most trade-ins are good enough for our main lot, but sometimes they come in like this that need work, so we just stick them down here in our back row bargain lot. And sell them as is, price them for what we have in them, and sell them as is. But like I said, folks, it does not include a checkout. It does not. I don't have power or water down here since I'm not making any money on it. I'm, I, I don't have. The, I can't spare the manpower to check this RV out. It's price. Just you take the good with the bad. Just like marriage. Just like your spouse. Good with the bad. But twenty nine ninety five. That's a firm price. Cash or trade. If you're interested, call us. You can email us. Or better yet, just come on down to Ringo, Georgia, see us in person. As you can see, I've got several RVs on my back row bargain lot, and it pretty much changes weekly. So give us a call, drop us an email, or come down to Ringgold and visit us. Thank you for watching.